Alright, you guys aren't gonna believe me on this one, so I took a picture because I'm gonna have to start taking pictures, otherwise you guys will think I'm lying. I don't know why things happen to me the way they do, but yesterday as I was vacating my old apartment for good, there was a 30 pound snapping turtle stuck in our windowsill. No, I'm not kidding you, I literally took a picture of it. Yeah, so I called my landlord, she showed up, she looked at it, and she's like, yeah, if you want to get rid of this, you're either gonna have to call the city or you're gonna have to call wildlife control. I again replied with, you knew just as well as I did that I moved out on June 1st. I was not down here. I am not responsible for a 30 pound snapping turtle right now. And then she was like, okay, that's fair. I'll just bring you a shovel and you can release this thing back to the wild. Me? I was so stunned, dude. I just got my neighbor. I was like, dude, you gotta help me with this. We got the turtle out in like five minutes and then I just left and I never looked back. I don't know. I I'm never going back there again, ever. Not once. <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Happy Tuesday. Today you guys are going to get the usual Tuesday video. We're going to play some MLB Road to the Show, hopefully grinding Stefan Diggs closer and closer to making his Major League debut. Now, I have been playing just like a little bit on and off because I do want to speed up the process like I've said. But I have a feeling that if we continue to bat 500 in AAA, we're not going to be down for too much longer. One quick thing before we get started, guys. Head over to gfield.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. I don't know what the electric starter kit is on G Fuel, but a lot of you guys have used my code for it, so thank you guys. That and quite a bit of strawberry banana packets. I must be selling you guys on my favorite flavor. Anyway, onto the video. Alright, so back in the clubhouse we are. Uh, apparently we have Fabio and Carlito talking over here. I don't know what the fuck's going on with them. Oh, Hunter Green. He was a guy that refused to play for the Minnesota Twins if they drafted him first overall. The year we got Royce Lewis, yeah, they were going to draft him and he literally just said he wasn't going to play here. He was being a little bitch about it, so... Fuck you, Hunter Green. Oh, damn, I was safe? I thought I was out. Shit, okay, I'll take that. So, I saw that Fernando Tatis Jr. has one of the lowest fielding percentages in all of baseball right now. Which is kind of crazy to think about because, like, if you think about Tim Anderson back on the White Sox, it's pretty much how he was. I thought that was so much farther than it really went. But yeah, like, I'm not calling Fernando Tatis Jr. a bad player by any means. He's one of the best in the league. He's obviously elite. But it's kind of interesting when you look at a player of his hitting caliber and then you look at his fielding and you're kind of just like... Like, look at their position right now. You gotta think, they're in a really good spot. They got a really good team. They got one of the best hitters in all of the league. And currently, currently, he is a liability to have at shortstop. That's gone. Goodbye. Bye, guys. See you later. That was good. Errors in baseball are just like drops in football. They're almost virtually the same exact thing. Obviously, there's certain situations where catching a baseball and catching a football are just going to be harder than other times. But if you drop like a routine pop fly or a routine pass, yeah, you look like a dumbass. You're screwing your entire team over and probably your entire fan base at that moment in time hates your guts. I remember many, many years ago when the Twins had Aaron Hicks. By the way, I hated him. I couldn't stand him when he played for us. Come on. God damn it. But Aaron Hicks dropped a blatant routine pop-up to center field and lost the Twins a game, I think, to the Royals. It was a crucial game, too. I was so, so upset that day. I remember I called him a bust for eternity after that. I mean, it's one thing to mess up, make a mistake, and drop a ball. It happens. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but when you lose a game because of a blatant error? Infuriating, my guy. Infuriating. I need to get a new camera. You guys see this? Why? It's not that bright. It's not bright at all. Matter of fact, it's fucking raining outside right now. And obviously the camera plays a big role in that too, but it's just annoying when I look at my face camera and my window looks like somebody's shining a spotlight in it. Look at those fucking stats. Jesus, man. I know we're only like two weeks into the season, but what can I say? That should have been a fucking home run. Okay. I, I don't need to be talking shit and then swinging at that. Let's try to keep it fair this time, buddy. That might linger too long. Oh. oh, there it is. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. And those kind of plays, by the way, another prime example of something that makes me want to drive my foot through my television. You know how many times I've witnessed the Minnesota Twins do that, where there's like an infield pop-up or a shallow outfield pop-up, and then 12 of them line up and not one of them makes the fucking catch? Baseball players, anybody in high school baseball especially, tell me this right now. What does your coach tell you to say 
every single time a pop-up is hit to you. Mine, 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 mine. You need to sound like the pelican from Finding Nemo out there, all right? You cannot be gathering around a ball, staring up at it, trying to catch a little sunlight, and then forgetting to call it off and nobody making the catch. That's just borderline unacceptable. About as unacceptable as forgetting to tag up on your bag. Eat it. No way! Who is this? Derek Jeter? I'm safe. I'm safe. They thought they were going to catch me on this. Are you kidding me? I have 99 speed. I'll take third for the hell of it. Did that fucking pitcher just hear what I was saying through my controller? No way that just happened to me. How did he know I was going to do that? Why am I swinging at this garbage? I'll draw a walk off of this guy. Watch this shit. Never mind. I'll get a base hit though because you're at. Ugh. It's a lot better when I'm playing against computers and I talk smack than when it's against somebody in real life. Not swinging. Jeez. That is a bullet, but it's not enough. If I would have power swung there, that ball actually probably would have went climbing in the mountains. No. Oh. I want to get a four hit game. I want to try and do this. That is not going to be the way to do it, Stefan. You couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat, buddy. I get an... Oh, Jesus Christ. What an opportunity to rewrite the biggest wrong of our life, though. That was a power swing, dude. I am so aggressive right now. Oh! He's going to ring me up, man. I cannot hit when I'm 0-2. I'm fucked. Not today, Satan. No! Whatever, we went three for six and carried the fucking team. They want to get mad at me for not getting a hit there. They can kiss my ass. I think we need to pull the reins back a little because if we look at it, he hasn't played one day in the major leagues yet. No matter how good you are in the minor leagues, that jump to the big leagues is... You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Mike. Shut your goddamn mouth. All right, what are we looking at today? We got Logan Allen. This guy is 2-0, 19 innings pitch, 16 strikeouts, and a 1-8-9... He's the fucking Terminator. I No, I don't stand a chance. I don't want to play this game. Uh, this guy is going to fuck me up. I'm just telling you that right now. I'm probably going to go 0-4. God damn it, you pussy. You pussy. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to hit anything if he's calling strikes like that. Change the tempo of the game with a bullshit call like that. Oh. Apparently my team can hit him, however. It's just I that can't. Oh my god, Diggs. So the Twins are 7-3 and three in their last 10 games. However, their last two games, I think, have been postponed now, which is bullshit. But at least their last one has been postponed. They didn't play on Sunday, which was weird, and then that got canceled yesterday. And, uh, if that's a pop-up again, I'm turning off the game for eternity. Get out, get out, get out! Okay, that's good enough, though. It's a triple. But yeah, the Twins are 7-3 and three out of their last 10 games. That might have been an in-the-park home run if I would have just fucking ran. But the All-Star break is coming, I think, next week or in two weeks. Meaning, I wanted the Twins to be within five games of 500 by the break. I want to say the Twins are 33-43, and 43, but... Okay, they are literally 33-43. and 43. And We've got a lot of games to go until the break, actually. A lot more than I thought. And all these next games, by the way, are divisional games, so they're even bigger. And we play the White Sox right now. So basically all I'm asking the Twins to do is, you know, win the series against the White Sox and then just dominate the division for the next two weeks. Pretty simple stuff, right? That's the reality of the situation, but I still got hope for the boys. I don't, I don't know. You know, that, that, that curveball looks so goddamn magnificent, I was afraid to swing at the fastball. Fuck. Get me out of this game. I knew it was going to be awful. I said that before it started. Alec Mills. Now that is a name I haven't heard in a long time. Did he used to play for the Twins? I don't think he played for the Twins. The Royals, that's what it was. I knew he was in our division, but I was like, what the fuck? That one might be gone. Come on. Come on. There we go. Fuck. I mean, I thought I was going to hit the top of the wall. That thing seems to be 40 fucking feet tall. I needed that, dude. This game, other than that triple I hit, I have been getting destroyed. That guy gave me 406 reasons to get over it. What the fuck am I doing right now? Like, I'm not swinging at this. Strike me out. I, do, I don't deserve to get a hit right here. Three of the same pitches 
three of the same shitty fucking swings. You deserve to be cut, demoted to double A. Unreal. I can't hit this guy! Fuck you, I'm not swinging anymore. If they're just gonna throw me shit in the fucking dirt, I'm not swinging at the goddamn ball anymore. You're a piece of shit. Like, I know I'm a fucking awful hitter for swinging at that, but this guy is the fucking worst. Eli Morgan? Throw me a breaking ball again. Do it. Come on. Do it. I will power swing. I did power swing, and I just missed the ball, dude. Fuck! We are so good. Like, so good. What are we, 16 and 4 now? God damn it! Enough with the fucking balls in the dirt! You're such a piece of shit. Why are they doing this to me? That's all they're throwing to me! Breaking balls in the fucking dirt! AGAIN! WHY?! What the fuck, dude? Come on! The computer is playing like an online cancerous toxic player right now. Alright, here we go. No. Come on, give me the breaking ball in the dirt. Let's do it. You son of a bitch. Nope, not doing it. This is despicable, by the way. Really, really happy I did that, honestly. I, I do want to line one back at his face, though, and knock his teeth down his throat. That would make me a very happy person right now, so I might try and do that. Why do you swing at that, dude? I could tell that was inside from out here. I will not swing at another pitch this game as long as this guy is on the mound. He's gonna ruin my hit streak because he won't give me a hittable pitch. Unbelievable. I only swung because I had to. That one is gone! Bye oh, bye I want to go open that pack though, because that pack is going to help our my player if I get something good. Probably going to be something completely shitty, but oh shit, it's actually okay. I don't need that, I don't need that. I don't think I have a good compression sleeve though. This could help us, we'll take that, and then yeah, these are shit. Uh, I, probably power three, I guess, I'm never going to use it, but we'll take it. Okay, so I guess we didn't get too much good stuff, but... Alright everybody, that is going to be all for today's Road to the Show video. Sorry if it just kind of ended abruptly after the pack opening. I didn't really know where I was going with that. But if you guys like this video, you already know what to do. Hit the thumbs up, hit the like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on, you guys. I post every single day. Swung by the P.O. Box last night. I got a couple more envelopes. I'm not sure who they're from, so if I don't name you right now, I apologize, but I do have a couple more. Anybody who would like to send something to my P.O. Box, my address is in the description of this video. As far as the rest of the week goes, I'm just going to continue to do what I want to do. All about anything could be tomorrow, could be Friday, could be Thursday, I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this channel fresh, good content coming in, kind of giving you guys more what you're requesting and I do have a couple of highly requested videos as well as all about anything so tomorrow we'll see but yeah it's not done guys I, I, I'm just trying to keep this channel fresh that's all but with all that shit being said you guys know the drill I'm gonna hop off and edit this shit so you guys can watch it on time as always guys I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next video